prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of God's love. Let us beg God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you and by you be brought to completion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees. You will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. 
You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then, that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, freedom is an essential gift of God to human beings. God created each one of us free. And so important is freedom that even God himself would not violate human freedom. God leaves us free and he will never force himself to any of us. Hindi ipinipilit ng Diyos ang kanyang sarili sa atin dahil nilikha niya tayong malaya. We are free to choose him or not. We are free to follow him or not. 
we are free to love Him or not. But we must always remember that freedom entails responsibility because each choice has its consequences and we have to be responsible for the consequences of our choices. This is what we see in our readings today, the second day of Lent. In our first reading, Moses presents a choice to the Israelites. Are you for God or are you against God? And Moses says, if you are for God, then you are choosing blessing and life. Those are the consequences of choosing God. But if you are against God, then the consequences of your choice would be misery, curse, and death. This is also what Jesus tells the people in our gospel today. Jesus offers discipleship to the people. If anyone wishes to follow me, Jesus says, it is not a command. Jesus is not forcing anyone. Hindi sinasabi ni Jesus, o ikaw, sumunod ka sa akin. Ang sinasabi ni Jesus, kung gusto mong sumunod sa akin, may kalayaan pa din tayo. But Jesus says, if you will follow me, then you will have to deny yourself. You will have to carry your cross. That means losing your life. But if you choose to follow me and lose your life, then the consequence of that is saving your life. But if you refuse to follow me and you choose to preserve your life, then the consequence of that is losing your life. There is a choice, and we have to be responsible for the choices that we make because the choices that we make entail responsibilities. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the reason why we have to choose well. Hindi pwedeng pumili lamang basta-basta, magdesisyon lamang batay sa ating trip o sa ating kagustuhan. We must choose and make decisions very well because our choices have consequences that could bring joy to us but could also bring suffering to us. Freedom must always be exercised with responsibility. Freedom always comes with responsibility. And so, do not, no one has the right to blame other people or God himself for the bad consequences of the poor choices that we freely made. Wala tayong karapatan na sisihin sino man maging ang Diyos sa mga pagpili natin na ginawa natin ng buong kalayaan. Because many times, we blame others and we blame God for the consequences of our choices. You are free to choose whether to get up from bed early or to stay a little bit late. At sinabi natin, o oh, sige, konti pa, a few minutes of sleep pa. 
That was a choice. And then when we are stuck in traffic, we blame the traffic light, we blame the other drivers, we blame the policeman because we are stuck in traffic. But who made that choice in the first place? We are free to choose as students to study well or not. Kapag bumagsak, sisisihin pa ang iba. Yung teacher kasi namin, nagpapahirap yan. Eh sino ba ang pumiling hindi mag-aral? We are free to follow health protocols or not. And if we decide not to follow the health protocols and we get sick, we do not have anyone to blame. Huwag nating sisisihin ang ibang tao at ang Diyos sa kapabayaang tayo mismo ang gumawa. We are free to choose our leaders. Malaya tayo sa pagpili. Pero kapag pumili tayo ng mga hindi karapat-dapat, ng mga may questionabling pagkatao at personalidad at naghirap ang ating bansa, hindi natin pwedeng sisihin ng ibang tao ni hindi natin pwedeng sisihin ang Diyos bakit mo kami pinahihirapan. Tayo ang malayang gumawa ng desisyon. Kaya tayo rin ang mananagot sa mga kahihinatnan nito. My dear brothers and sisters, this season of Lent, let us train ourselves to choose responsibly, to make decisions wisely in every aspect of our life. And using freedom responsibly and choosing wisely simply means always choosing God. Always choose God. Always take the side of God. For in the end, my dear brothers and sisters, there is really no other choice but God. Please stand. Our Lord Jesus calls us to follow Him, to carry the cross after Him, and to entrust to Him all those who suffer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as members of the church, we may imbibe in our lives the spirit of the cross and be willing to suffer for the sake of Christ and the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of our country may hear the cries of suffering people and may show commitment to the eradication of oppression and exploitation in society, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering, the poor, the sick, the handicapped, and the prisoners may never fall into despair but experience the comfort of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are alone in life may find companions companions who are willing to help them bear their crosses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that our beloved dead may be one with God and their loved ones in heaven for all eternity. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We continue to pray for peace in Ukraine. We pray for our personal petitions and the petitions of those people who ask for our prayers. We also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. God, our Father, the passion and death of your Son brought life to the world. Help us to recognize the crosses and sufferings, not just in the great trials of life, but in day-to-day -day choices. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray the offerings we set upon this sacred altar that by this bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <laughs> In 
In a similar way, on that same evening, He took the chalice of blessing in His hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to His disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. 
the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Having received the blessing of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Almighty God, you have made known to your people the ways of eternal life. Lead them by that path, we pray to you, that the unfading light through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.